I'm going to share 20 features that you didn't know were in Hell Let Loose. Let's get started. I have a good amount of time in game and I'm still learning new tips and mechanics. So I thought I would share a few that I found useful. Number 1. Having an officer or medic near you can reduce suppression effect. So don't go running into a field solo. Work with your squad and move together. Number 2. The yellow circle on a manpower node will cut the cooldown on support classes supply crate by half. Munition nodes work the same with ammo and explosive boxes. So if you're an engineer, you can build a manpower node and have a support guy keep dropping supplies to build defenses. Number 3. Build nodes in the second column when the game starts. You can't drop supplies from the truck within the first two columns, so drop them right on the edge of column 3. Walk back into 2 and build nodes. This way, if you lose the second point, the nodes keep working. Number 4. You can underhand throw a grenade. Right click on PC and left bumper on console. This can be useful when running into a trench or bunker and lobbing a grenade. Make sure to get back quick. On a side note, make sure to like and subscribe or this guy will die. Don't let his blood be on your hands. Number 5. Not moving and holding shift will zoom in. A lot of you probably know this one already, but it can be really useful to reach enemies from a distance. Number 6. You can bandage teammates even if you're not a medic. Say you get wounded on the field but you're out of bandages and no medics are nearby. Just start yelling for a bandage and a fellow soldier will help you out. Does someone have a bandage? I need a bandage. Thank you. Number 7. There is no cooldown for mines. You can place them wherever you want as long as they're in your inventory. And you can resupply while alive with explosive boxes. You can have up to 6 anti-personal mines and 2 anti-tank mines down at once. Number 8. Explosive charges and other items dropped by your team will have an indicator that is visible when you tap T. Use this when you're unsure whether a mine is friendly or not. Number 9. It only takes a minute to cap in offensive mode and 2 minutes in warfare mode, so keep fighting to the last minute. Number 10. If you have dropped the 2 crates from a supply truck, you can refill supply trucks by driving back to HQ. This is a good way to get a lot of supplies on point without commander. Number 11. Garrisons in friendly blue zones become blinking red when enemies are in 50 meter radius, and they go full red when they're in a 15 meter radius. Garrisons in enemy red zones get locked when one single enemy is in a 100 meter radius, so don't place an offensive garrison too close to an enemy point or it will be useless. Number 12. Picking up an OP instantly refreshes it, so it can be useful to spawn your teammates right away and pick it back up and move it to a better spot. Number 13. LMGs can blow up transport and supply trucks. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Number 14. Each grid square is 200 meters by 200 meters, which is useful for placing garrisons. Since they need 200 meters away from each other, check the map when looking for a good spot to place one. Number 15. Spacebar's handbrake when driving. B on console, I believe. This can make driving a bit easier. Also, holding spacebar in the truck at the beginning wall will start you faster while waiting and shifting up, so you can hopefully get to the midpoint first. Number 16. Satchel explosions go through everything. If there are enemies inside of a building, place a satchel on the outside and it will kill all inside. Number 17. If you're in the objective circle, it will tell you the ratio of friendlies to enemies. I learned this recently. It helps to know how many troops are needed while defending or attacking, and also if the commander should reinforce the point. Number 18. Building garrisons cost 50 supplies anywhere in friendly blue zones, and 100 in enemy red zones. So remember, your support guy will only drop 50 supplies. Number 19. A satchel will remove a vehicle corpse. Use this to clear out roads that have been blocked by destroyed vehicles. And finally, number 20. You can give commendations to other players at the end of a game. This gives players 10% bonus XP. So if you feel like someone's did a lot for the team, show your appreciation by commendating them at the end. Hopefully you learned something from this. Comment below with some of your own pro tips. I tried to do an accent for this video. 
And if you want to hear my real voice, watch this next video right here. Alright, thanks guys.